Hey guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to the podcast. This is podcast episode number 65, maybe the weirdest one yet. (laughs) How many of you ever like feel like the Lord's impressing something upon you, maybe to share? And you're like, I am going to look so foolish. This is going to sound so dumb. And then I have to remind myself, okay, I am just here to be like a voice piece and to be an encourager. My gift is edification. And sometimes the Lord uses weird analogies to help me encourage and teach other women. And although I sometimes wish that the, you know, vehicle of transporting ideas and thoughts and uh, prophetic words to people was different, um, you know, at the end of the day, God is God. And, And so even though I think that this is a little bit strange. Hi, Easton. We just saw my son Easton walk in in the background if you're here on YouTube. Even though I think um, that I would rather have talked about this in a different way, eh, here we are. Here we are. So we're going to talk about spiders today. We're going to talk about spiders today. And um, and yes, if you do prefer to watch instead of listen, I am. I know I just casually mentioned that, but I am on YouTube. And so you can watch this whole thing on YouTube. Go just find my name, Jennifer Allwood there and take a listen. Okay, so here's what happened. So a couple of weeks ago, you guys might have heard a podcast I did on a Monday called, uh, it was entitled Winter is Coming. On that podcast, I talked about ants, <laughs> which is funny because I don't like ants. I don't like ants. I just need you to know. The, the truth is, I don't, like, I don't like most animals, you guys. Now listen, before you send me nasty DMs on Instagram, can we, can we just quit shaming other people for what they like and don't like? I also don't really care for the color green so much. I mean, is that okay? I don't don't, don't like the color green and I'm really not an animal lover. There's lots of reasons for that. At some point I will share with them. But until then, just know that I don't really care for animals except for my two dogs who I'm obsessed with, Stella and Lola. You know how I feel about them. Anyway, okay, so, so here's what happened. So the Lord had me share a word about winter is coming and how we can study the ants. Um, and I, if you didn't, if you didn't hear that Monday fair, I want you to go back and listen to it because wow, did I get some DMs, man, oh man, did you guys say that that was helpful in knowing how to plan for chaos coming up in our world? Um, so that was good. Right. So then, um, after I did that podcast a few days later, I was literally just out taking a walk. So it's really cool in our neighborhood. Um, we live on a golf course and you're able to like walk like pretty much all the way around the golf course. But there's a section of the sidewalk um, that's really wooded and you kind of go through like this area that there's a lot of brush and it's heavily covered and um, in full transparency, not always my favorite <laughs> um, only because I know we have coyotes and I'm always like, are they lurking right there? Like that's what I need to know. So here's what's happening. So I'm getting ready. It's on like a Friday because I don't work on Friday. So I was walking during the day. Otherwise, Jason and I usually walk in the evening. So I'm walking during the day with the dogs on a Friday and I'm walking. And you know how sometimes like the sunlight will come filtered through like trees. Like I'm sure you've seen like sunlight filtered through clouds and it's really cool when it does that. You see those rays like coming through the sky, right? Well, have you ever seen like sunlight filtered through trees? And that looks really cool too, because in this one area of my walk, it's just, it's a little more covered, um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just not as bright. It's a little bit darker. And so places where it's open to the sunlight and if a a ray of light comes in through there, it just looks really cool. So I'm walking through this, you know, heavily, um, area with trees and the sunlight's kind of peeking through and I happen to see a spider web. Okay. And the spider web's like, literally it's, it's up high enough. There's no way I'm going to like hit it with my head. Um, if Jason had been with me, he couldn't have even touched it. Like it was up kind of high, but the way that the light was hitting it, it was super cool. And so, you know, I'm walking, I notice that there's a spider web and then I like literally like stopped and I'm like, huh. And I backed up and I'm like, that is actually kind of beautiful. I mean, for the record, I hate spiders. And if you want to send me a nasty gram about hating spiders, like we just don't have any chance of being friends <laughs> because I just, I don't, I'm, I'm not a spider person. So, and I've never in my lifetime, other than this one time when a spider made this huge web on our garage years ago, but other than that, I am a hundred percent sure I have never taken a picture of a spider web in my life. So the spider webs over top of the sidewalk, I'm walking, you know, literally I almost missed it. And, but the light had hit it just right that it was like kind of twinkled almost, if that makes sense. And, um, and I stopped. And so I was getting ready to start walking back up. Cause I was like, Oh, that's kind of cool. I had to literally like back up a step, just so the light would hit it again. And then I saw the spider web again and I thought, Oh, that's kind of cool. And I started to walk back up and the Lord said, go take a picture of it. And I'm like a picture of a spider web. You know, I'm thinking that is so lame So I take a picture 
<laughs> I'm just divulging the whole story. So I take a picture of this spider web, thinking to myself, this is weird, Lord, and go about the rest of my day. Didn't think twice about it. So the next night, um, I'm at church. And yes, we are back to um, church in person with, of course, you know, um, all of the things that we need to in order for churches to be open right now. And, and does that feel right and normal? Nope. But does worship and the word of God feel right and normal? Absolutely. I can't, I can't tell you enough that if you haven't been to your home church in a while, go, go. Just to be in the same room with believers, um, there's something about that that is just so empowering and comforting right now. So, <laughs> so we're in church. And I'm in worship. And a lot of times the Lord will show me things in worship. He'll speak to me during worship. Um, some of you, I know like you're asking how I hear from the Lord. I've, I've gotten several DMs on Instagram. And I will tell you that often um, the Lord will show me a picture of something. And, um, and you know, he, God speaks to people in all different ways. I, I love that I get pictures because I'm a visual person. As a creative, I'm really visual. So I love when I get a picture. So the Lord brought back to my mind the picture of that spider web that I had thought was, you know, so strange. And then kind of shared with me why he had me um, stop and take a picture of that. So that spider web, like I said, it, it spanned over the sidewalk, like from one side of the sidewalk to the next, it was connected to two trees. Um, had the light not hit it just so honestly, I, I may have totally missed it. And the truth was it looked, it was very thin. I mean, you know what spider webs look like. They are so paper thin. Um, it was kind of hidden. Um, and in my head, I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> while it was cool that the light, while it was cool that the light was hitting it, Spider webs are gross and, um, and I'm not fond of spiders. So, you know, by default, not, not fond of their webs either. Um, so I took the picture of it and then here's what God was saying to me, um, during church. So that spider web connected a tree on one side of the sidewalk to a tree on the other. It was like a bridge, like a connection, like, um, something that joins, you know, um, one thing to the next, right? So I'm looking at that and, um, and God was showing me, that yes, it was barely spottable. I almost missed it. And it looked like I honestly could have broken it with a stick. Like if I picked up a stick off the ground and whacked it, I would have broke that cobweb. But even still, it was still like a gateway. It was still like a tool, like a transmitter. Go take your transmitting from one side of the, you know, sidewalk to another if you're a spider. Um, it was a connector. It would get a spider from where it was on one side of the sidewalk to the next. Trust me, the fact that I'm even speaking about spiders on my podcast right now is as weird to me as it is to you. Hang with me here though. It's going to be worth it. Okay. So I don't know much about spiders. I'm a city girl. All right. I mean, just, I mean, I know I was raised in Iowa, but I have been in the city for 30 years now. So, so I have to go Google because in my head, I'm like, wait, do spiders actually use a web for transportation? Or is that literally just on Spider-Man? Like, you know, on Spider-Man, he's using the webs to go from building to building. Spiders actually do that in real life. So here's what the Googles say, okay? Spiders spin webs to protect their eggs as a hunting tool, um, and they can throw it over their prey. They also use webs for transport. Listen up. Climbing to a high point. Then they release one or more of the silks of strands, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So they do use webs <coughs> for transport. So the truth is that even though that spider web looked super thin and it looked very very frail, in all actuality, it can actually withstand like wind and rain and also be used to trap enemies. And so God was showing me all this. Yes, like literally as we're, you know, singing, singing uh, some of Elevation Worship's stuff in church. So um, here's what the Lord was showing me. There are some of you right now that are listening to this podcast who are in a season of transition right now. You're going from one thing to another, from one side of the sidewalk to the next. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're moving from point A to point B. Maybe you're adding to your family. We just finalized our adoption with Ari. That's going to be a podcast episode if you haven't already listened to it and real soon. Maybe you are um, going to be fostering and so you're going to be adding to your family. So it's going from where you were to now where you're going to be. Uh, maybe your family has recently lost someone. Maybe you have had, um, you know, you're going through a divorce. Maybe you've gotten a new job. So you're going to be moving in that transition from an old job over to the new job. Maybe you're somebody that's like in my coaching group and you're pivoting industries. You're leaving a painting industry and now you're into coaching. You, you perhaps used to be um, in health and wellness and now like you're totally, you know, going down this different road of something else. 
So um, maybe the transition is totally against your will. Um, maybe it's something that you signed up for, but maybe not. And, you know, it, it may be something that you chose, but regardless, you're transitioning. Um, and the thing about transitions is most of the time, transitions make us feel really vulnerable. They make us feel scared, unsure. Um, there's lots of feelings, or maybe it's just for me. Maybe you're like, oh, I love transitions. I love change. Not, not, not so, not so over here. And so um, the word that the Lord gave me to give to you is for those of you that are in a season of transition. And he wants me to encourage you by what he showed me with that spider web real quick. Okay. So that number one, um, you may, if you're transitioning right now, feel really unseen. That spider web was barely make outable. Um, and if you're feeling unseen, it, I need to encourage you that it doesn't matter if nobody else understands how hard the transition is, if they're not noticing it, if they're not paying attention to it. Um, but you may be feeling really unseen. Number two, you may be feeling really frail. Um, you may feel like really unsure of your steps. Like at any moment, you're just going to crash and burn. You're going to flounder. Um, you may feel like at any point, this plan of yours could be easily broken, just like that spider web. So you may be feeling both unseen and frail. You also may be feeling really unready. And, um, and the Lord was showing me that it, it honestly, it, it doesn't matter. Like if it feels like the enemy is trying to take you out, um, use that example of the spider. Like he gave that spider exactly what the spider needs, right? Spiders need webs, um, in order to do spidery things. You need stuff in order to make this transition. And God's already given it to you. It's already deep inside of you. The tools that he has already given you will hold you through this transition. Even though you feel like under misunderstood and unseen and all of the things, even though you feel like you could like literally just lose it at any second, even though you feel like totally unready, God has already given you all of the things that you totally need. You may feel unseen by others. This transition may look really weak. Your plan may look really weak. You may not feel like you're at all ready, but I want to encourage you today. He is with you in the transport. This is what I'm supposed to share with you. He is with you in that you're moving from where you were here. You're, tr you're, you're headed over here. He is with you in that transition period. He is right in the web with you. He is weaving a beautiful story with your situation. And regardless of how like unseen or misunderstood or frail or unready you feel, you're going to make it. I'm supposed to just encourage somebody with that today. You're going to make it. Isn't it weird that like God gives us spiders to like, you know, for a life lesson, super strange. So I'm just going to pray real quick for those of you that are in transition. Cause just hear me when I say that, I was like, Lord, really, you're going to make me speak about spiders. I mean, come on. I'm a girl that likes glitter. Like, come on. Um, and yet here we are. So Father God, I just thank you today for these men and women who are listening to this podcast. Lord, if they made it to the end, like, thank you, Jesus, and hallelujah. I thank you that they're here, Father God, subscribe to the podcast, um, and they want to honor you, Lord, with their, um, with their time and, um, and with their life. And Lord, I just pray that whoever this podcast was specifically to, Lord, I'm willing to talk about something that feels foolish if it can be a blessing to one individual, if it can make one person feel more seen, um, less scared and just, and know, like, I love Lord that I serve a God who is so intimate that he would be willing to ask me to do a podcast that is going to be a gift to somebody on the other side of it today. And, and even though I hate spiders, Lord, I trust that you're using this analogy the way that you wanted it to, Lord, for the for your glory and for the edification of somebody else. So, Father, I just pray that they would feel your Holy Spirit presence as they transition from wherever they were to wherever you have them going, Lord, and that they would find beauty in that journey. In Jesus' name, amen. So I hope that that was helpful to somebody. Um, if it was and you feel so inclined, would you send me a DM on Instagram and let me know? Or, you know, do a post and tag me or what have you. It's a weird thing to talk about spiders. Let's, let's be honest. Uh, the truth is I've been obedient, but it's always nice to like get that message. Hey girl, that was for me. <laughs> Just so I don't feel like a fool out here by myself. So anyhow, I hope that that was a blessing to somebody. 
Okie dokie. You guys are amazing. Love you so much. We'll talk again to you next week. I'm praying the Lord doesn't make me speak about something that has to do with animals again. So we'll see. Love you guys. Bye-bye.